breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 29th of March uh, 2023. So, the government of Zimbabwe has been urged to withdraw trade licenses uh, from gold dealers implicated in an Al Jazeera documentary on the illicit trade of the precious mineral. Transparency International Zimbabwe, a non profit local chapter of the international movement against corruption, said it was closely following the Al Jazeera expose and is demanding that the government launches investigations into the cases. TIZ says uh, law enforcement, anti-corruption agencies and regulatory authorities should immediately revoke gold trade and export license given to the implicated individuals and corporations pending an investigation into the allegations. Episode 1 of Al Jazeera's documentary, Gold Mafia, was released last week. Episode 2 is expected this Thursday. In the documentary, Tendaibiti, a former Minister of Finance and Economic Development, claimed that Zimbabwe was losing gold worth about 1.2 billion US dollars every year. The documentary implicates a number of government institutions, including the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe, Fidelity Printers and Refiners. Individuals implicated in the gold smuggling operations include Henrietta Shawaya, the president of the Zimbabwe Miners Federation. She's also a gold dealer licensed to and export gold. Hubert Angel, the presidential envoy, to the Americas and Europe. He engages potential gold buyers and links them with Zimbabwean authorities, including Henrietta Shawaya. Simon Rudland owns gold leaf tobacco. He allegedly lends the Arab business money to buy gold from miners and export it. Lamkesh Patini exports gold bars and jewelry from Zimbabwe through his company, Susan General Trading, which gets paid an incentive by the government to sell gold overseas. He allegedly not bringing all the proceeds from gold sales to Zimbabwe. So guys, that's the latest here. It makes sense if the government uh, will draw licenses. Yes, it shows seriousness. At the same time, uh, it also give authorities time to investigate. Kanawaka chena, wasna jupomero, I wanna go up with big my license out. But for now, those licenses need to be revoked, suspended, and to further investigations. It shows what government is serious about corruption. I mean, involved so they need to act immediately. They need to suspend these good licenses. implicate in this ordeal. and and also this one, uh, Simon Rudland, and uh, yes, they need to be suspended. I'm going to go to the for a while until I'm going to go to the hospital. Because I'm going to go to the they need to be uh, given back their licenses and continue whatever they are doing. But for now, I still think that the government needs to act harshly on them. They need to investigate what they want to do and how are they importing, how are they exporting, how are they moving cash in and out of Zimbabwe. They need to be investigated. So we wait for more. Remember, we are going three more episodes and we are from Al Jazeera. We just hope that ZEC and other institutions will act accordingly. But for now, we are going to wait. Thank you for listening and watching daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember to like, share, comment and follow. Bless up.